Hello viewers, and today I'm going to be doing a install video for the Minecraft client and server of for for mods. Basically, it's it's not that difficult. There's all kinds of videos out there with installing uh base like basic mods to just like the client, but I haven't. I'm not really searching for any because I already know how, but I don't know how many of them are out there for server. So. In one video, I will do client and server for all the mods that we use. We do not use TechIt. I do not support it. I use each of the individual mods that are in it. Most of them. I don't use all of them. So, let's get to it. Now, I'm going to make this video basically for someone who doesn't know that much about it. So, if you already know a step that I'm covering, just skip ahead. Um, you won't really miss anything. But the first thing you want to do... Uh, if you already have a save game, if you've been playing Minecraft and you already have a save and you don't want to lose it, you can always use it in a mod. Like, you can use the old save with mods, but usually you need to generate a new world. So, the first thing you want to do is probably back it up. So, uh, you want to get to your roaming folder, and there's all kinds of ways to get to it. Easiest way I've found is just create a new shortcut like so shortcut and then copy this into there um, it should be the C drive unless unless you have your drives named differently it should be the C drive and except for here you should replace this with whatever name so uh, computer login name something like that um, to, in order to find this you go to here you go to control panels then you go to user accounts and it'd be under add or remove user accounts and it should be right here um, it's whatever the one that usually administrator not always but whatever one you use to log in since I already have one it should go right to the roaming folder which it does and then once you're here you'll have a dot minecraft you want to take this and this is the one I actually use for the let's play so I'm going to take this one and just create another folder over here. And I could just make it something like 1.2.3 MC backup. It really doesn't matter. Um, and then you want to take your dot .minecraft, um, either, well, pretty much Control X, which is cut, or you can right click on it, basically like this, cut, and then you want to paste it in there. You want to get rid of it all together. Before you do that, though, you probably want to make sure that you have your username and login if you don't use it that much, because you need to re-enter it. Um, the username and login is the one that you registered and bought the game with on Minecraft.net. And the next thing you want to do, since you have no Minecraft here at all, you want to do double-click on your Minecraft. It'll create a new one, and then you want to do a new... You want to enter your username and login. I I usually don't do remember password cuz obviously or pretty much I'm going to end up messing up sometime in the video. I'll cut it out so um this video it'll it'll be all correct, but I'm probably going to have to do a couple takes on part cuz the 1.2.5 you don't need like a one of the base add-ons mod loader MP you don't need it anymore. It's included in Forge, but there's a couple other things. So anyway, you do your username login uh, log in, it'll download a whole new dot uh, minecraft here it goes yep it works and then it should pop up right here this is the folder which in your warming, roaming folder your dot minecraft is the the actual folder the game goes from this is only a shortcut um, or it's actually an application that goes and downloads the actual game next thing that you're going to need to do is get a program like 7zip or winzip which is what I have um, I know at least one of them is free. I think I know 7-Zip is probably free. Um, so you get that program first. And then you go to your dot .minecraft. Then you go to your bin. Make sure you click on the one that says Minecraft Jar. Open that. And then you can either... There's... In 7-Zip, I believe you open it a different way. Or, I don't know, I've never used it. But you just want to open it with the program. And give it a second. And it'll open up this. This is the actual inside of the Minecraft game itself. It has all the files and everything. 
First thing you want to do before even modding anything, left click on the meta inf or right click on it, it doesn't really matter. Delete. You do not want that. The next thing you're going to do after deleting the meta inf is minimize out of the Minecraft jar, minimize out of the bin folder, and any of my other videos on my page is going to have all the mods that we use in our SMP Let's Play. So you can go to the actual U any YouTube video, and I'll even post it in this video as well. And you can go to all, every single one of the links, click on them, and for Red Power, you want to go right up here into the top right, download Red Power, get all of the 1.25 client and server. So it's going to take a while to download all these. And for Industrial Craft, click on the link, go to download and then go to download IC for 1.25 and then you want to want to get make sure it is the 1.95 make sure you get the client and the server ignore the API for the build craft you're going to go to download actually I think they changed it oh here it is you're going to want to get the one of the 2.2.14 uh, for SMP SMP go to here and then it'll have this is the 1.2.5 version download all of these equivalent exchange you're gonna click on the link and it's gonna take you right here and you would see they updated this they had to do a little bit of looking on here um, the, the little form uh, layout was, has been changed a little bit from uh, equivalent exchange you want to go down until you see downloads right here right here um, for railcraft go down and it should be right here on the download page this is the additional pipes the basically the teleport pipes go down here and there's a link for the server and the client uh, raise minimap I believe this one all is only for your clients so you don't have to worry about no server for raise minimap only client this is the texture pack that we use uh, we use modded so it's right there uh, this is the Minecraft, I should actually do this one first. This is the one that you should install first. I'll get to that later, but uh, Mod Loader, this is the base for everything to run off of. You want to go down until you see Mod Loader 1.2.5, uh, direct download or AdFly to support the developer. Um, I don't like, I can't stand AdFly, it doesn't work for me very well, so I always do direct. Um, and finally, Forge Downloads. This is Minecraft Forge and the implementation of Modloader MP in the netcode of Forge. So you go down a little bit and you go to the recommended build. And you want to get the client and server. Ignore the source. And once you get all the mods, get them downloaded to one location and I will do that and I will resume as soon as I have all the mods downloaded and then as soon as you have all the mods compare them to what I have and if you have the same exact number um, feel free to continue to the next step just popping back in because I forgot one mod it's called forestry it's a pretty big mod uh, I'll post the link for this exact page what you want to do is scroll down and make sure you find the one that says Forestry for Minecraft 1.2.5 and Buildcraft 2.2.14. This one will not work. This one will corrupt your world, or I don't know if it'll corrupt it, but it just won't work. I haven't tried it. But you want to get the client and the server for this one. Just popping back in again because I forgot one more. This one, Optifine, increases the frames per second and allows for HD textures on the texture pack that I have. In the description of this video, I will put a link to all these mods that I've been downloading. As long as you have the exact number of mods that I do, and you have the same ones, compare them and make sure you have the same amount. Um, that should be good. Now for Optifine, it doesn't really matter which one that you download. Uh, I use the multi-core since I have a quad-core. Um, I haven't really tried these. I don't know if it's really that much of an improvement, but... It doesn't really matter which one you get. I like multi-core. It works for me. This is not enough items. It's basically the little, the entire uh, menu that we have on the right side of the screen. 
it just shows items and if you want there is a cheat mode on it which you can just give yourself items we don't we don't use it we just use the recipe mode you can use it to look up recipes and whatnot uh, for this one um, I'll post a link to this exact forum post right here you go to chicken loader chicken yeah chicken I'm saying this wrong code chicken core there we go uh, there's all kinds of them here you get the core and then you get the client and you get the server the server will allow you to do to give yourself items through the menu on the server so it is required and then you need to get the not enough items the actual mod itself and it's right here and then not enough items you want to get the client and the server now uh, this is a list of every single mod that I've uh, downloaded um, so if yours is exactly the same you're in good shape um, this keep in mind this is for the client client only I separated them into two files folders I bet. Uh, then you have the server right here this is all everything for the server feel free to pause the video at any time and look through all of them open up your uh, WinZip of Minecraft jar and the first thing you want to do is I have my own little process of doing this, but I open up the actual mod over here, and then I have this one over here on the left. So you want to open up your mod loader first, copy everything in there, oh. and then drag it over. After that, you can close out of the mod loader.zip and make sure you're in the client. Um, this is all on the client right here. Um, this is this does not include the server. Um, after that, you want to get Minecraft Forge. Open up that, drag it to the right, and copy all these into here. It'll copy them all in, and it'll add them in there. Oops. Oops. Oh, these are wrong right here. Close out of Minecraft Forge. Next one you want to do is where is it? Uh, not enough items right there. Take this, copy it right into there. Let it copy in. Close that one out, and then you want Code Chicken Core Client. Keep in mind, this is all for 1.2.5, so anything after this is not applicable. You copy all the code chicken core. Drag that right in there. And so basically, what that has done is that has just added all the core mod stuff, uh, plus any eye, not enough items. Um, after that, you want to take Ray's minimap. Oh, actually, first. Drag this to the side, start it up, and it should start up, hopefully, pretty much. All right. Um, this It really doesn't prove anything, it's not done yet, it just it creates extra folders in your bin folder. Then you go back to your bin folder, Minecraft, and it'll create, I think, one two two new folders yeah two new folders mods and config there won't be anything in them because you haven't added anything yet um these are just there's really nothing need much you can do with these there's other config files some of them are be in there and then they'll add some of them some of the mods will add config files into this place so it'll have like build craft and it'll have like red power and you can go in there and config them um that's that's after everything is done after that, you want to get your raise minimap and drag that right into the mods or copy it right in there. Next, you want to get the four base mods that we use are uh, the build craft. So, A, core, builders, energy, factory, and transport. Copy those right into there. Next is equivalent exchange. And then you want to go into double click it. And then you want to go into mods. Take this, copy it, paste it. What? 
oops, drag it. Yeah, don't copy, just drag it from here to there. <laughs> 